During the day, the Ukrainian military eliminated about 1,300 enemy personnel, 6 tanks, 22 armored combat vehicles, 41 artillery systems, 1 air defense system, 56 UAVs, 1 cruise missile, 64 units of auto and special equipment, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine has reported. Since the beginning of the full-scale invasion of Russia, Ukrainian defenders have eliminated about 496,370 Russian occupants. In the past day, there were 117 combat clashes at the front. The Russian occupiers have reduced their attacks in the Pokrovsk direction but continue advancing elsewhere. According to the General Staff OK Ukraine, Ukrainian soldiers are holding their positions firmly, counterattacking and destroying invaders in some areas. In the Kharkiv direction, there have been two unsuccessful attacks near the village of Lipsy since the start of the day. Positions remain secure. In the Kupyansk direction, five clashes are ongoing near Sinkivka, Beristov, Nevsk, and Makiivka. The situation is under control, with enemy losses, including an infantry fighting vehicle and three armored personnel carriers destroyed near Beristov. In the Vremivka direction, Ukrainian soldiers repelled two assaults near Eurozane and Staromayorsk. No positions were lost. In the Kherson direction, the enemy attacked Ukrainian defenders three times on the left bank of the Dnipro River with no success. Throughout the day, the Russians launched four missile strikes, conducted 55 airstrikes, and deployed 927 kamikaze drones, including 59 Shahid and Lancet UAVs and 868 FPV drones. They targeted our troops and peaceful settlements 4,094 times with various weapons. Two ships have sunk as ice drifted in the Zagansk region of Russia's Yakutia Republic. According to Russian media reports, the ice drifting occurred on the Lena River the day before the sinking of the ships. Three tugboats, one tanker and six empty barges were laid up in the area. During the ice drift, they began to be pulled downstream. There were 35 people on these ships during the incident. Some 18 people were evacuated and 17 remained there to carry out work with no threat to their lives and health. The tanker, Captain Burkovsky, and the sea tug, Sofran Danilov, completely sank. The ship, Captain Burkovsky, received damage to the hull and began to sink. The crew was evacuated. Work was carried out on the ship to pump out water and weld, but this did not help prevent the sinking that occurred at 1920 local time. The tug, Captain Kurchatov, was pushed ashore, the tanker, mechanic Vinokurov, and six barges are laid up, the regional ministry of transport reported. The head of Zagansk region, Vasily Sorokin said that the relevant authorities were notified about the incident on a timely manner and the evacuation was successful. The situation is under control, Danilov said, adding that a representatives of the Yakutsk Republic's transport administration had arrived at the scene of the incident. Previously, those who were on board of the ship were able to get ashore on their own. With the assistance of the administration of the Zagansk district, they were taken to a temporary accommodation center in Zagansk. Titanic. Oh, Ooh, but Ледокулатахун. 
Allah kadar bütünden tühener, tümürener. Hayatta fotoğrafı sevindir.